Hey, in this quick example, I wanted to see what it would take in Maya to change the background from uh, something like this where I have an image to maybe just a gradient color, maybe for um, something a little, with a little more uh, freedom, right? So, for example, I have this background in my uh, scene and it's just an image and you can see um, if I hide it, for example, right? And let's go ahead and hide my uh, lights as well. Attempt to, let me make sure. Um, if I if I render my uh, uh, dome light, right? In the attribute editor, as long as I turn down the camera to uh, zero and render this out, you can see that the image is just gonna be black, right? Because the, there's no, um, there's nothing else that is in the back of the character. If I turn the camera back on, you can see that now uh, the camera color is there, right? Of um, of the actual uh, HDR, right? But I don't want that. I want to control the color of my character instead of using an image or instead of using the HDR. How do I control the background? Um, so the first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down the camera visibility in the attribute editor to uh, to zero, which will ignore the HDR image, right? And essentially it's black, but it's uh, transparent, right? So this is transparent image right now. And for me to uh, set a different color for the camera, what I need to do is go into my render settings and then under uh, Arnold Render, if I go into environment, I can find something that's called background. If I click on that, I can then uh, set my background to something called create ray switch shader. If I uh, turn that on, you can now see that I have a camera color. And if I turn this color on to maybe let's say blue, just for fun, let's make it like a blue sky, right? Um, and now if I render my image, you should see the blue background being applied to the camera. And of course, also if I wanted to do something like a ramp, right? I could do that. Uh, let's maybe set the blue to something like this, kind of a, a little more of a sky color. And maybe this could be a lighter one. And let's go ahead and press uh, render now. You can see what that looks like. And of course, if I wanted to flip that, um, I can just switch the order and it'll render again. And there you have it. So this is pretty much the uh, easy way you can control your uh, character background in uh, Arnold with the, uh, you know, with the uh, Arnold render, right? In the camera. So I hope this, uh, you find this uh, useful and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.